the homeless population has exponentially increased in the last five years, just exponentially. From December of 2014, actually the shelter started in November of 2014 with Catholic Charities. Our first day we had 13 women. Uh, we average now between 180 and 200 women a night between both shelters. Um, it's pretty dire for the clients that choose not to seek shelter. It's, the bottom line is my clients are very vulnerable. Many of them will experience rape. A lot of them will be violently assaulted, physically assaulted. Um, they're very vulnerable. It's a big risk. As women being homeless, we take a big risk. Especially for women that are disabled, we're even more at risk because we lack the capacity even more so to defend ourselves in a situation like that. Some guy tried to hit me and push him. His girlfriend pushed me down over there at the corner of uh, the mission in here. What we are, what I like to say at Holy Rosary is that we provide the opportunity and foster the desire for change um, by extending that consistent healing love of Jesus. To them over and over, day in and day out, consistently. I think that knowing that there's going to be a bigger facility and more space for women, I think it might help some of these women, instead of sleeping on the streets, to come here and to go to the shelter and not do the destructive things that they're doing in their lives because they know they have a place to go that's safe and that's nice and like. I think that it is absolutely amazing. Hopefully we're going to see a significant decrease in women that are on the street. Um, my hope and prayer is that we will eventually see um, our clients navigating out of homelessness forever. My goal and my dream is that someday I'm out of a job because every single one of these ladies is found at home.